Now, The Thirst was released in 2010. Again, it was another direct-to-DVD um, uh, release. Um, but this time, the producers and the writers got smart, and I think Corey Feldman had a lot to do with it because he knew a lot of people were disappointed in the tribe. Um, Jameson Newlander does come back in this movie. And the feel of this movie is very much like the original Lost Boys. It's nowhere near as good as the original Lost Boys, but there's this campy kind of humor to it, and Edgar Frog is the star of the film, which is what he should have been in the first, in the, in the first sequel. Um, what the overall story is about is that there's this designer drug that this head vampire named DJX is distributing to ravers and in his hopes to create a vampire army. At the same time, Edgar Frog has fallen on hard times. He's evicted from his trailer, um, and he is approached by a bestseller named Gwen Lieben. Um, she's kind of like uh, the woman that writes Twilight, and that's a lot of in-jokes in that. Um, in the film, offer, she offers him a job to destroy the head vampire and rescue her brother, Peter, who has been taken captive by DJX. Also, you see um, interaction between um, Edgar and Alan, who is a vampire, and you find out how he became a vampire at the beginning of the film. Now, The Thirst was also... Um, the teleplay was written by Hans Rodionov, who had written the comic book series and uh, the the tribe. But this film is so much better. Um, it's not like I said; it's not as good as the original Lost Boys film, but nothing I feel could ever be as good as that. But the thing that this got right is it brought back a lot of the feeling that the original Lost Boys had. It had a lot of heart. It had character development. You know, it was great to see the Frog Brothers in action, which is what everybody wanted to see. Um, and I think Corey Feldman did a great job carrying the movie because in the other movies he was most more of a side character. And Jameson Newlander did a great job coming back as Alan Frog, and you really saw the dynamic he's faced with because he's living kind of in squalor, hiding from the world because he is a vampire and he's not. He's living off rats and things like that. I mean, it was really a, a like I said a, compared to the they should have just erased the tribe from memory and just made this the second movie this would have been a much better film um to to be the follow-up to the original lost boys but uh like i said i mean i don't want to give too much of the film away but i will say that it is miles better than the this the tribe and uh i'm a big fan of the thirst um i think it's a, it's a great if, if, if we had to get a direct-to-DVD sequel, um, this was a pretty good one, and I really liked the Frog Brothers being back and them fighting the vampires. I mean, it's it's there's some really great scenes in this film. By no way is it perfect. There's a lot of crappy actors in this one, too, but uh, really, um, Corey Feldman carries it. And there's a really nice tribute to Corey Heyman, who had passed away by the time this film was released. So. So whether or not we will see a Lost Boys 4 uh, remains to be seen. I know that The Thirst did very well on DVD and Blu-ray, so hopefully we'll see another one. Um, they could have more stories, I think. I've heard rumors of a Lost Boys television series, which would introduce uh, other characters that were in the original film. We shall see. I mean, nothing will hold a candle to the original Lost Boys, though, in my opinion. I mean, this is this is the best film of the bunch. I do like the third film, though, and uh, the comic book series is very good. Very good comic book series right here. So if you guys ever have a chance to get it, it's Lost Boys Reign of Frogs. Um, it might make the tribe a little bit more easier to swallow, but I doubt it. Um, but I thank everybody for watching this, and uh, please tell me what you guys think about the Lost Boys. I'm always anxious to hear you know, what other people think, and uh, appreciate everyone's time, and uh, take care.